Oh, I thought you said his hand. Sorry. Sorry, CPU. I thought you said your. I thought you said uh, his hand, or just his hand. Because that's what I thought. That's where it would like look like he was going. Because he was just using his hand. So I thought he was just gonna like slide the you know slide the hand in. Look at the view. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She Lewis. waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Oh, okay. So after Lewis's funeral, Lewis is like the straw that broke the camel's back, and Dawn, Edith Finch's mom, was like, "We out." I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I'm assuming we're going into Edith, Edith's room at this point. I wish we'd stayed. Yeah. Wait, the heck? But what? I understand why we left. There's a whole kitchen up here. Excuse me. How do they build this stuff with the fridge and well, Edith, mom, there's a fridge. They left their Chinese food. That's okay. They left the box. What's in the box? Packing peanuts. Oh, is this her room? Okay, so My this is like. Ended up leaving everything behind. Sure. Oh yeah, they really did. What is this? Disaster relief Sanjay Kumar. Ooh, this is the father. This is Edith Finch's father. Okay. I'm assuming that he probably died in doing disaster relief stuff because what I'm pretty sure they don't been coming for a long time. They don't explain how Sanjay died. Maybe it should have come sooner. Oh well, we're going into Edith's room now. Ooh, that would suck though, having to go through your parents' bedroom to get to your bedroom. Kind of a rip. Oh, she's got one of those All attic rooms. Now was to tell you about that last night. That last night. No! Wait. Where is the mom and where is Edie? Where are they? Where are they? I'd like to know. Let's look at Edith's room, though, first. She got writing on the walls. Kind of insane. Oh, no, it's from the light. It's from the lamp. Okay. It's like a little lamp. Wait, why is that thing still turned on? Oh, I guess we... Did we turn the power back on in the house? Or has this thing just been on? For, like, how long has it been, she said? Like, ten years, at least? Oh, no, not ten years. Like, six years since she's been here? Nice book collection, though. But those are really, really... Are those binders? Those are really tall books, if you think about it. Like, look at how... Like, I mean, I'm sure we're crouching down right now. Cool direct, cool decorations, though. Cool, cool, cool. Nice castle. That looks really cool, actually. Made out of books. I've done something similar before. I've done something similar to this before, actually, for a class. Oh, that's Lewis and his soldiers. I wonder if they made these together. That'd be some nice little story. Yeah, they probably did. That's crazy. Because he was like, yeah, this is the my imagination stuff. That's awesome. Okay, well. Edith. That's me. Am I dead? Am I playing from post-mortem? This is the book we started out with. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open? The grown-ups have to argue now. <sighs> I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Oh, I guess we are playing in the past now, as we have been for most of the game. That's cool, though. That is the uh, dining room scene that was left. Oh, but the wine was spilled. Oh, you know, it's about to get into a heated argument. I'm assuming that the candles are guiding me in this direction. The power I, guess, had been shut off that morning, I was about to ask if the power was out. Edie always had plenty of candles. Of course she did. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Yes, there's another entrance. I wanted to go into the well, library. Edie had a key to it. And <laughs> they just left it open. Okay. Real 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 secretive, I suppose. you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. 
Edith Wait. has a right to know these stories. My yes, I do. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know if the stories are what killed your kids. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Oof. Okay. They're putting them. Oh, no. Oh, man. That's one of my biggest fears in life is to be at a point when I have to go into a nursing home. And I can't just live on my own. Really hope I'm never in a condition like that. History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Um, am I am I the grandmother now? Am I Edith Edith or Edie Finch? I'm currently Edie Finch. The tide went way, way it out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Oh, okay. There the an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. Okay, they so... They the lowest tide in a thousand years. Yeah, you're telling me. God, it smelled awful. <laughs> I've seen that house every day of my life. In case you guys don't know what's going on right now, um, the the Edith or the Finch family had a uh, a house before this house that they're currently living in, before that house, before this house. Um, but the first house got sunk at sea when they came to America because they brought it over in a boat. I never thought I'd go back to it. You also made hero. Hero's fine. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. No, I want to see the old house. I want to go into the old house, into the old Finch house. I go straight. I know I go straight. I got turned around. Oh, well, yeah, clearly. There's a rock that definitely was not there just a second ago. I started seeing things. Oh, that is pretty dangerous, getting that close to a deer. Easily could have been ran over by that thing. Or attacked. Not attacked, but like, charged. But yeah, they are kind of scary. I saw them, they felt old friends. So what? What am I seeing? I can't tell through the fog. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Sure. Looks like we're at the old house. Oh no, it's right there. It's right there. I came back to them. Wow. Imagine living on the shore next to where your old house sank. Things I can't explain. Uh, but I need you to try and Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith. Mom, you're gonna rip it. Let go. I wanna know the story. I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. Dang. I wanna know the story. Oh, I guess we're in the I car. I never now. saw great grandma Edie again. No, they just left Edie there. She's like 90. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Oh, she dipped. I would do that too if I was being told After I'm going to the nursing home. Around a lot. Sure. Am I her hand? I am her hand. We both tried to make the best of it. That's so cool. A few years went by. I've seen this in the trailers, and I remember this part specifically. How do I do it? Do I just shake it? Look at all the letters just floating My on by. Didn't like to talk about it. Sure. They just left Edie behind. Where but did she go? She was the question. Sick a lot. Okay. <coughs> Her mom started to get sick. The rest happened pretty quickly. Oh, oh, that's Dawn. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. 
Yeah, in case you guys didn't know, Edith Finch is pregnant. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Am I moving? This journal was supposed to be for you. I'm not even trying to move. I, I think I have to. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now... Things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Ah! No, that's the sun. Edith died, Edith died, Edith died, and that's the sun, that's her son. She died, and that's the sun, and that's the house. And wow. Oh, man. Oh, oh. What a game. What an experience. Wow. Holy cow. Uh, in case you guys didn't know what just happened. Um, Edith Finch was, we found out last week that Edith Finch was pregnant for the whole, the whole game. And, um, she was writing to her, uh, her unborn child. That's what she was doing. The, her narration was her writing in a journal that we just saw for her unborn child. Do you think she knew? That's the thing. That's my, that's my question about the game. Like, do you think she knew? I think she did know. I mean, clearly she was writing a journal saying, hey... If you're reading this, I'm not alive anymore. So she knew that she was going to uh, pass away. Or she thought she, she worried she was going to pass away. Or maybe she was writing it ahead of time. And she's just like, hey, like, in case I do die for whatever reason, like the rest of my family has in weird ways. The rest of our, the, like, how the rest of our family has died in weird ways. Here's our story. I want you to know it. I mean, I, and then the question becomes like, what? killed the family you know was it was it superstition was it an actual curse was it worry because in the end it was like it's it would seem that like the family separated so i think that the what's implied is that the fact that the family divided at the very end when the mom and edith when edith and her mom left the grandmother the grandmother died shortly after and so did the mom um so but if it wasn't for the superstition that the mom had that that's what was killing all of the family members specifically two of her kids that um that's what broke them up so like the superstition you could say killed both of them at the same time it's also like the question like did are they actually cursed because if you look around in the game one of the questions that's always asked is hey are these by the way this is a really cool credits uh credits sequence but one of the questions that's always asked in the game is like or mentioned in the game is the idea that like this family's cursed and they're like a they're kind of like a, a myth like like an urban myth the the finches that like they're cursed to just all of them will just die in early at an early age and in weird ways yeah that was a really good game the edith finch team 2012 to 2017 is that how long the game took to develop The end. Oh, okay. Okay. I was trying to read what that said. I was like, is that an anagram? Good things about the game. Presentation. Beautiful. Story. Beautiful. Um, complaints. Characterization. Also beautiful. A really beautiful way to present a story. Um, and great soundtrack. Complaints about what remains of Heath Finch. Um, the game was really short. Uh, let's see. The game was really linear. Would have liked a little bit more exploration, but that might just be the open world exploration in me being spoiled nowadays, since a lot of games are open world. Um, 
after the success of of Breath of the Wild. Um, that's basically it. Too linear, too short. Now, we will move on from what remains of Edith Finch. Um, yeah. That was a great game. And while the music is dramatic, we're going to quit. Thank you.